Fauna, you savage. You have just... Oh my gosh. Game Theory, get roasted. Game Theory, get freaking roasted. <laughs> that was not how I was expecting that thing to go, but... That was in the middle of their conversation. <laughs> Yo, best tips in case you want to avoid Game Theory is to say what Fauna said. Wow, anyways. um, Hey there, guys. My name is Blake, also known as the Nerd. This is, this is the best start to any Animal Crossing video I've ever done. Fauna, I love you even more because of that. <laughs> and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons, or another day, whatever you want to call it. But last time we were here, we were celebrating May Day. And I did take a look at the time uh, in terms of events, and the next thing would be Patty's birthday. However, one villager has decided to move away. Last night on an island... Sahara, what are you doing here? You're, you're sleeping in the wrong area. Last night, one of our oldest members of Costa Nerd, from the very beginning, decided to move out. And I decided, hey, she wants to go explore the world, then I'll be there for her in her heart with a nice smile. So unfortunately, this is the episode where we say goodbye to the beloved, to some of you, including me, Rocket. She didn't even change the walls. This is actually kind of sad. We were one of the first villagers on the island. We developed the island together, and here you are. Go out in your own world. Hey, Blaster. Glad you came by. It's been real, but I finally decided it's time to move on. Thanks a bunch for the advice the other day. It really meant a lot. Um, I wish I could leave you with, that, with a smile, but... Yeah, I'm really gonna miss you, Vroom. Don't forget me, alright? I won't. Gorilla with a nice helmet. Hard to believe and leave all this behind. You better. Oh, don't worry. We absolutely will. Uh, it's which box <sighs> Rocky, you were... Like I mentioned before, you were the one alongside Goose and I that started the towns. It's a big legacy to leave behind, for sure. Now, I already did my uh, my daily chores stuff. Um, I didn't actually talk to Sable, so do that. But what I want to do is skip ahead to the next day and then start actually um, island hunting for someone that can replace uh, Rocket. We also have Stash here. <laughs> you know what? Fine. This is temporary. I will go ahead and wear this mustache. <laughs> maybe the maybe the locals on those or maybe the people who are traveling those islands won't realize, but <laughs> I finally have facial hair. I just gotta wait to grow a beard. Hello, Sable. Out of all these days, Tuesdays tend to drag the most, so I need to do my best to stay sharp. The tailor made a mistake, they probably did it on a Tuesday. At least, that's what Mama always used to say. That's, uh... <laughs> it's kind of dark when you take some time to, like, think about it. If not, overthink it. But I just wanted to snatch- Could I have the chat? Nah. I didn't really need a chick outfit. If there's a goatee, like, uh, the next day, I'll buy that as well. So... That does it for this day. I'll meet you guys over at the next day. We'll start using our seven Nook Mouse tickets to hopefully find someone that will be a good replacement for Rocket. All right, one day later, and it is officially Wednesday. Uh, yeah, there, yeah, there isn't really anything. <laughs> oh, did anyone see the talk show yesterday on TV? You know that one? Uh, no, I actually didn't. I was busy uh, gardening and whatnot. Well, good thing there wasn't any campers. I was kind of worried there was going to be a camper there, which kind of uh, could have potentially ruined the thing I was going to do with the tickets, which was, again, to head over to another island to get said things. Uh, mail, what'd I get? Oh, yeah, that's right. I ordered some things before um, doing some things. Goose also sent me a letter. I was doing so much for me, so I wrote a letter to tell you how much I appreciate you, Blaster. You challenged me to look forward to continuing our rivalry. <laughs> Uh, Goose, I don't think we're rivals, man. <laughs> but good try, though. But good try. Uh, so there, here's it. No Kenke I actually bought yesterday. Um, and before I go on, let's see if any gold roses spawn. <gasps> they, there was. Oh, there's two gold roses now. One of them was fully bloomed. Um, in case you're wondering how I got more of these black roses, it wasn't through the breeding thing. Unfortunately, I couldn't get lucky enough to get more than, like, two or three. I think it's... I, no, it was two black roses, so, um... 
a good friend of mine, Miss Ganachris, actually um, lent me some of her roses as well. So I was able to do this kind of tiny um, breeding area for that specific thing. Now, oh, speaking of, there's a black one. <laughs> That's crazy. I wasn't actually expecting to, for there to be like a black rose over there as well. So while I walk around, let me, let me um, oh, there's a, the, there's a leaf. I almost talked to him. <laughs> For a second, I was like, what, what was your name? But um, before we get into too much distractions, you might have noticed, again, the ticket thing. Oh, boy. Um, there's a lawnmower going on. I don't like that. <laughs> also, what am I doing here? I guess I can show turnip prices. Even though I already sold all my turnips. Um, 70 bells. Yeah, good thing I did that. Uh, actually, that's a good topic I want to talk about as well during all this. If you're going to go online and look for people with higher priced turnips... Please be careful because there are scammers out there and I recommend if you see something too good to be true Just like message that person to have it open. It's like hey are is your prices legit? And if you do have to go in there anyways, like just check the turn of prices when you get to their town because Chances are they won't The prices won't be what they are. Dang it. I was hoping there'd be facial hair Like a goatee or something now, I'm smart enough to know the difference because there are so many people that post the same image. So it's like, and on top of that, they have you message like someone they don't even know, which is weird. Oh, I thought you were talking to, uh, to Celia there. I, I didn't realize you weren't doing that. So yeah, people post the same image. Luckily, I actually found someone, and I'll remember to post shorter under that I highly recommend that you follow. Ah, rest in peace, Rocket. Um, and that person goes by the name, I, I don't know the name, but it'll be in the description. Basically, I did message her, and her prices are actually legit. Like, when she had the turnips on sale for four sixty two, they were legit. And she was actually a really nice person to talk to as well. So, uh, go follow her and uh, stay up to date in case she has higher turnip prices. It's, it's very rare to get high turnip prices, and it's all based on luck, but there are other ways. Uh, if you know a certain glitch, which I won't tell you because this is not the topic to go on about, that you can make bells easily, and you won't have to worry about turn prices for quite a while. <laughs> but if you're one of those that plays legitimately, like, you know, you go for the turn of prices, just stick with that, but... That's all I gotta say on that. Anyways, I think I've been rumbling for too long. Let's go ahead and use our seven Nook Miles tickets. I did not put Hypno KK away. Uh, there's a thing right there, luckily, um, that... You know what? I'll put it in here. It's a lot closer anyways. And I gotta get rid of this weed. I'm gonna go in here, so let's put Hypno Kick in there. That's the newest one I got. I'll check it out later on. Let me build this fence back up. And then we'll go ahead and go on our tour to hopefully find a new villager to replace Rocket. Oh, Goose is home. That's funny, I talked to him a little bit earlier. Uh, I'm, I'm not really worried about that butterfly. Um, what I am worried is, did I get a... <laughs> I know, I, I'm getting so side distracted. I'm sorry, it's like, I'm, I'm not only am I on a... A, uh, a villager hunt, but I'm also like looking around to see, oh, do I have any rare flowers? Because I want to breed those rare flowers to get even rarer flowers, and hopefully all goes well. Oh, dragonfly. Okay, um, so funny thing about my town, dang it. Uh, Pietro wants to talk, okay. Um, oh, new reaction as well, okay. Um, funny thing is, funny thing is, I've been searching for quite a while to get a rare butterfly. I believe it's called the uh, the Great Alexander's Birdwing, and I actually got one. Not today, but um, a few days ago. And apparently the rarest dragonfly, which is a banded dragonfly, I've caught at least five of those, if not more than that. Oh, I was about to say, that might not be another one. I I'm sorry, but how are those rare if I'm getting five of them and I can't even get a single of the, the giant wings? Mine is the one that I donated to the museum. How is that even fair? Alright, so... Enough spilling on for different topics, not getting on to the main thing. I apologize. Let's go ahead and talk to our lovely friends over here at Dodo Airlines, Orville, and let's search for a new potential candidate. By the way, it looks like I have a Nook Smile ticket. I am going to use it, sir. Let's go on a villager hunt. Yes, I have my tools ready. Even though I'm not using them unless it's like on a bamboo island or something. But no, not even on Bamboo Island, because I have 
plenty of bamboo. I don't need any more. I could dig up the uh, the bamboo shoots, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to look for a villager. Now, doesn't matter which one. Preferably, just to kind of balance out the genders a bit. I mean, not the genders, but oh, <laughs> wow! I called it. First one was bamboo island. <laughs> wow, that's um, that's some lucky calls, huh? <laughs> Now, it might sound rude that I say that, but... Whoa! You are very interesting looking. Um, I'll get to you in a second here, but... The reason that I say that is because, even though it is nice that, um... It's nice, don't get me wrong, the amount of villagers I had before Rockman Vought was great, but to me personally, kind of felt imbalanced. I, I kind of wanted to be imbalanced, not to make it, like, anything rude or anything like that. If I do, I if I do sound rude because of it, I heavily apologize for that, it's just... Jacob! Uh, hey, nice meeting you. I'm visiting the island today. You're Blake. Uh, from Coastal Area. That's real cool. This island's real neat. Let's have some fun together. Uh, if you feel. Um. Jacob, huh? I'm curious what kind of villager you are. You look like a woodpecker. That's kind of a cool animal. But the question is, would I actually want you? Um. Lazy. Okay. Um. Do I actually want another lazy one? Because I have Eric in the town. We have two birds already. He has a cold camel shirt, but <sighs> I think this is gonna be a pass from me. Even though he looks cool, and he is exactly what I'm looking for. A more male one, so that way it's a little bit more balanced in terms of the villagers. Although, to be fair, now, even with me, it's still kind of unbalanced. <laughs> what the heck am I talking about? I mean, if you exclude me, then... You know, you, you get the point, but even if it... I'm not 100% going for a male one. I'd be fine with either one. Whatever it looks like, it could fit in with the village very well. I don't mind. Don't, don't, <laughs> you know what, you know what I mean, like, even I'm, like, kind of silent right now because it's like, did I really just say that? <laughs> so let me rephrase it. Preferably male, but if it's a good female villager as well, I'll take that as well. I prefer balance, but if there's no balance, then so be it. I'll, I'll take whatever I can get. But, um, Jacob... <laughs> As much as you are a cool-looking bird, unfortunately, you are not something I want on my town. Sorry about that. And I'm not hunting any rare villagers, by chance. I'm just looking for anyone that I think would blend in very well with Coast of Nerd. So I apologize if that sounded offended to you, even though we're living in an age where everything is apparently offensive. <laughs> something isn't meant to be offensive. Like, even a simple feather, even a simple feather flying down from a bird could be offensive because of its color. Like, if a blue bird's feather suddenly drops down, someone could be offended and it's like, ah, that feather is not green. You know? <laughs> I kind of wish we weren't at that point in uh, in human society, but I, I, I have no doubts it'll be, um, it'll, it'll get better, like. I think we humans, hopefully we as human beings evolve into some uh, some sort of species that won't be offended really by anything. <laughs> At least I hope not. If it turns out like 50 years from now I'm totally wrong about that, then um, I'll eat, I'll eat, I'll eat um, whatever I can eat at the age of like 70. <laughs> I'll probably even forget about this by this point. <laughs> I'll forget I even said all this by the time I'm like 27, probably. <laughs> Man, this turned into, from like a very sad moment to like, kind of insulting myself a little bit here. Um, hopefully I don't run into any rare islands. Like, uh, I know there's a money rock island, because I don't think those have villagers in there. Uh, that I may want, as far as I know. I know there's very, uh, specific villagers people want. Like, there is a, uh, a cat with glasses that people are looking for. Uh, you're a flamingo. And I did bring my... Gosh dang it! I should have brought that tool. Now I gotta craft another one. Are you kidding? <sighs> that requires like softwood though. Mm. I brought everything else except for the vaulting pole. 
I'm gonna talk to her because I don't know her name. I don't know anything about her specifically, so let me go ahead and get my my flimsy axe over here and start making some softwood tools. That would be ideal. So that way I can I have like four of these now. Once I start making this, I'm gonna have four of these. I don't need four. Uh, there's softwood. I'm going mostly for the softwood. I'm gonna hit the trees that don't have any fruit. That's not soft. Okay, fine. I'll hit one with fruit. Uh, that was the only one. That stinks. Let me double check because I haven't crap nose in a while. How many softwood does that take? Five. And I'm like a third. Not even a third of the way there. Like, would it, no, like more than halfway there. Uh, number three. And I got a thing for chopping trees <laughs> for specific wood. Oh my god! Wait, is that softwood? Uh, no, that's just regular wood. Why does a vaulting pole? Why does a vaulting pole require wood? All of this, all of this, just for a new villager potential. Can we not with this? Can we not with this? All right, let me get back to this. Uh, I'm not gonna pick up the comb. Softwood. I saw softwood. Softwood. All right, one more. One more. That's not it. One more. Okay, there we go. We, we can we can stop. We, we can actually craft this now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Always remember, pack every single bit of your tools. Do not forget one, otherwise you're spending a hundred nook miles for an axe just to craft a pole. Let that be known. Alright, so let's get this pole going. And there we go. Now we can uh, actually talk to this flamingo as well. Hopefully I don't offend anyone by not taking her in case it's something I'm not interested in. Um, because again, I already have like two birds. Another bird would not be ideal, but I'm not against that either. Uh, Flora, what have a feeling you're a peppy? You're probably peppy. I'm on Nookapedia. It has nothing for Flora? Really? Is she like new or something? I think so. Hi, fab to meet you, I'm Flora. Are you visiting from another island too? Costa Nerd! Wow, that's a big trip. Cut this to come hang with me on this neat little island. You are Peppy. You are Flamingo too. That would be pretty interesting. Um. Oh, speaking of Peppy, speaking of like, uh. <laughs> Speaking of Peppy, um, I, Patty, I almost forgot her name, Patty is Peppy, um, so we're good on that. But speaking of cows and, uh, I guess octopus now, so, uh, I didn't notice for the longest time, but apparently I have two of the rarest species on my island, octopuses and cows. Not feeling it from you, though, I'm sorry. So, octopus, there are, like, only three octopus in the entire game, I was lucky enough to stumble upon one of them. And then Patty, who just so happened to move in, like, during that campaign, where Tom Nook was, uh, asking us to build some things for those villagers, including Patty, which we saw on the Bamboo Island. Apparently, she's also one of the rare species, too, with only four cows available. That, that's nuts. And I have to make sure that none of them move out, unless I get another octopus villager, or a, um, a cow villager. But even still, I probably wouldn't want to get rid of them either way, because they're so rare. And whatnot. And it's funny, I'm also not getting the probably one of the most common animals, which is a cat. I know there is a specific cat everyone just is going nuts over. And I've looked at it, he's pretty cool, and I could definitely see why people would want um, that specific villager. I also wouldn't mind having a villager that I've had in my new leaf town as well. I know someone had. I know um, I saw a stream. Um, it's Ganda Chris, the same person, who ran by Mott? who was one of my um, original villagers in um, New Leaf. I also had Astrid, who I'm not the biggest fan of. I know I'm probably going to be offending a lot of people who <laughs> like Astrid, but Astrid's not one of my favorites. I remember Felicity as well. Uh, so, uh, oh my gosh. No way. W what? Wait, 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 wait. How do I get over it? You've got to be kidding me. There's like no villagers here. What even is this island? Um... This... 
Is this Money Island? <laughs> Did I just like- Oh. Oh, there is someone here. Okay. I was worried there for a second. Like, ah, uh, Is there no villagers? But there's a villager over there. Oh my gosh. Um, well, I had a jackpot somewhere. Cashmere. Cashmere. Why do I feel like you're lazy? Cash. Oh, you're snooty. Mm, we got Pietro. I like it. Actually, I like his uh his uh his mouth animation. It's pretty nice looking, actually. It kind of reminds me of, like a Jim Henson sort of character, which is kind of neat. I can't believe I made it onto Money Island. I cannot believe I made it onto Money Island. The hunt for villagers, and I end up going to not only a bamboo island, but also <laughs> probably one of the rarest islands to go to. Uh, there's fruit, luckily, so I can go ahead and eat one of those because I need to break the rock in order to get to the other area. <laughs> what is my luck? What is actually my luck right now? Of course, when I'm trying to get, like, a new villager, just boom. Not that. Just boom. I get a rare island instead. And mind you, I have not visited this island yet, so... <laughs> this is insane right now. This is insane. Might as well take advantage of Muddy Rock Island. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or, what if this is... I don't think this is Gold Nugget Island. This is... This has to be Muddy Rock Island. Otherwise, why, why would this layout be like this? And I would notice because I actually have a, uh, a mobile app, which I highly recommend downloading if you actually have the Animal Crossing game if you're, and you're highly hooked onto it like I am called um, Animal Crossing New Horizons or ACN or ACNH um, ACNH Life What is this? Oh, this is Money Rock Island Sweet! Um, I'll take money I will take money I think I messed it up, but it doesn't matter And apparently this spawn rate is like very rare I think it's like a 2% chance So the fact that I got this um, as like the third island out of like using four of like the seven remaining ones. That's kind of lucky Even though this is not what I'm looking for Come on give me the eight Yeah, I got eight again. I don't need this much money, but thank you and <laughs> And I just got back up to 11 million So like spending all of that especially like crowns wasn't really all that much worth it I uh, just like I don't think having another snooty sheep will be worth it either. Oh, uh, I messed that up, but that's fine. I don't really need that much money. I have so much money in my deposit in the bank. I shouldn't even be digging up all these anyways if I have so much money, but I can't help it at the same time. It's like this is a golden opportunity. Why wouldn't I? I should have told this I made it to Money Island. But I know what the episode title is going to be. That's like the saddest part. I just I'm in shock right now. I'm gonna have, oh, I'm gonna have one fossil. I'm gonna have a money bag before I find a new villager. <laughs> Look at that. I'm up to the point where I have like a money bag. That is nuts. That is actually insane. Uh, I missed the timing of that one, but that's fine. <laughs> Um, dang. That's crazy. I was not expecting this at all. Alright, well, um... No villager, but instead we get ourselves a lot of money? <laughs> Me thinks so. Uh, can I convert these into a back? Oh, I can. Look at that. There you go, look at that. <laughs> We have 9,000 bells remaining. <laughs> that is insane. Alright, well, I'm not interested in that villager. This is not that I don't like the look of it. I think his look is really nice. But, the... but a snooty sheep when we already have Pietro doing that job. I... Plus, they have like two snooty villagers anyways in forms of Tiffany and um, Amelia. And those two are probably one... Those two are like my favorite snooty villagers, so... Actually, Tiffany, mostly because the, um, the room. <laughs> to be honest. So, I'm not worried about not having another snooty villager. Um, let's keep going. <laughs> what crazy luck. How 
lucky do you have to be in order to get a money rock island? What's next? I got the gold nugget island and I get like the where's villagers out there? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure. Uh, let's get you airborne. What is my luck? What is actually my luck? Watch, it's gonna happen again. I'm gonna get Gold Nugget Island. Please don't actually let that happen. Please don't actually let that happen. I'm risking it all, apparently, for this. Uh, did, did, did I actually? Oh, let me put this away. Unless I need it. Did I actually go to another? I. Oh, uh, okay. I was about to say, you've got to be kidding. Wait a second. Uh, there is an alligator. I never had an alligator villager before. This is interesting. Um, Ally, Ally the alligator. Again, it's interesting. I never had an alligator before. Ah, oh, it's another snooty one. <laughs> of course you are. One of my friends call me Ally, and you are Blake, all the way from Coast of Nerd. Even isn't that fascinating? Uh, why am I getting the snooty villagers? I don't need another snooty villager. It's not my ideal... Well, I say ideal. It's not the one I want to replace Rocket with. Don't get me wrong. Having an alligator villager would be amazing. I might have seen some really cool um, alligator villagers in my time, but... I don't think this is the one I would want, to be honest. I mean, I like her leopard shirt. But I have both Amelia and Tiffany for snooty. And I think having an island of three snooties would be a bit too much for my other villagers. <laughs> would be it would be a bit too much for me, to be honest. So as cool as that one is, and I've seen this, I uh, know someone, uh, not someone personally, but I've looked it up on Twitter, and apparently someone's uh, alley is moving away as well. So I I don't think I need her. I don't think I need her. But it was cool to see an alligator villager. I've never seen one before. I know there's a dragon one, and, there, and if there's a dragon one, I'm taking that immediately because, yo, but let's be real, having having a dragon villager would be the best thing ever. Or a unicorn one. Either one of those would be fantastic. Um, and if, it, if I can't find the one I'm looking for, I will have to go with the last one that I find uh, with the last mouse ticket. Unless this is the one upcoming is really, really nice. Or, like, not really nice, but, like, one that I feel would fit perfectly with Costa Nerd. Then, um, I'm okay with that. Hopefully the final one, if I end up not finding the one I'm looking for, it's not... I mean, I do have more Nook Mouse tickets, and I don't mind going around. I'd rather just find it within the seven that I have. I might go ten, just in case I can't find it. Um, how many Nook Mouse tickets do I have? Two. Okay, so we have, like, two more chances to find a good villager if I can't find one. Uh, oh, hello, a tiger! Oh, wait, this is a leopard! Cheetah, actually. Leonardo! Leonardo? Who is Leonardo? For the looks of it, you kind of look like a jock. Not gonna lie. Leonardo is... He's a jock! Okay, um... I mean, I, I have not seen... A leopard villager before. He kind of looks cool, I'm not gonna lie. I like his shirt as well. Uh, Blake, huh? Great to meet you, Blake. You're not from Coastal Nerd, are you? You are? I didn't know it was real. I heard the best apps on the planet come from there, Flexin. <laughs> the best... Oh, goose. <laughs> you expose it. You exposing person, you? Ah! Oh, that would be really cool. I like his design a lot. Just the fact that he's a cheetah, right? He looks like a cheetah. Hopefully I'm not wrong and he isn't like a leopard or something. He looks like, he looks like a cheetah. He looks like a cheetah. Oh, he's a leopard. You know what? You know what? I want you. You've convinced me a lot. You know, as much as I want to stay here and train, you can only build so much muscle by gathering stuff. So what could really be cool is if I could live near some place that inspires me to go... Someone like you! Your tricep is just astonishing, Flexen. Come train my island, dude. Leonardo, you... you are... what? 
Dang, this is a cool looking person. Well said. I just like his design overall. I've never had a tiger villager. I don't mind having another Jock, because honestly, Jock is like one of my favorite personalities aside from normal. <laughs> Lazy kind of gets old every once in a while, and I and I like Pietro, don't get me wrong, but um, the the the, the trait Pietro has, which again, I'm recording, I don't know traits or whatnot, it's kind of cool. Can't wait to start working out my, my very new home. I'm going to lift everything, Flexton. Leonardo, you and I... It was fate. <laughs> Probably. I mean, just look at him. He looks so cool. I like the spots on his back. I like his eyes. They're very nice looking. And he's got like... Dude, I, I, I love the jacket. Leonardo is going to be perfect. I will have to replace the flower color though. <laughs> but I'm satisfied. I am absolutely satisfied with Leonardo. Granted, I could have waited like a couple more islands to see if I could get someone better, but I honestly like Leonardo too much to the point where I, I didn't want to give him up. I think Leonardo was like the best choice. It goes back to the whole spiel of like trying to balance out the um the males and females. It's kind of like a more balanced civilization, sort of. Because right now, still, well, as soon as that Leonardo comes in. Actually, that would be a perfect partner for Goose. I didn't think of that. Poor Eric is kind of... I feel bad for Eric. He's going to be hiding in his house all day, just eating nothing but, like, his snacks. As, like, Goose and Leonardo are just knocking his door. Yo! You got to come over to your gym session, man! We've been winning. We've been winning minutes for you. I'm good. I just, uh, I just gotta eat more of my, um, my, uh, my chocolate cake. And there it is, Leonardo. Oh my gosh! I can't wait to see his house. I cannot wait to see his house. Oh my gosh! I'm, I'm pumped now. I'm absolutely pumped. Hopefully, um, Celia and Fauna doesn't mind. Actually, let me talk to them. Ooh, this bug. This bug. Okay, I need to catch this because I want some money. Oh, I thought it was the other beetle, but the jewel beetle is fine as well. A jewel beetle is fine. So now, with that being said, I wonder how Goose feels about having another jock on the island. He's not going to be the only one. He's finally going to have another training buddy that isn't me because I can't go out and whatnot. Where is Goose anyways? Is he back in the house? He's back in his house. Goose, bunny, I have some good news to tell you, and you, my friend, are going to love it. Unless you're crafting something. Oh, you are. <laughs> well, I'll tell you after you're done crafting. What are you crafting anyways? Wait. There's just a recipe for leaf? Willy Goose? You're like the, you're like the most athletic thing and the best you could come up with was a leaf? Okay, Goose. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to talk to you about the, um, the new villager. Yes, I know about your pull-up bar step. What do you think of the new villager? <laughs> Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Finally. Hey, did you see that someone's going to move into that empty land plot bouquet? I heard it's Leonardo. Now that's a muscular sounding name. And nobody else muscular speak. Ooh, we got rivalry going on. It's gonna be a tough choice between Leonardo and Goose for who has the most athletic and muscular body. Oh, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. So, Goose has another rival now. Oh, Leonardo's gonna be a fun, fun replacement. Anyone else have any opinions about um Leonardo? I'm pretty sure Fauna's gonna be nice to him no matter what. But I do want to talk to uh, the Fauna. Because I love talking to her. He's my, she's my favorite villager. So worth the amiibo card. Oh, nice track outfit. Oh, you're doing indoor yoga. What do you think about our new villager? Um, did it... Fonda, I, I appreciate you talking about your watering, but uh, I want to know what you think about the villager. The, the flashy jet. Yes, Fonda. Please, cooperate. What kind of book do you... <laughs> um, comedy. It's kind of interesting, I guess. But, um... I want your opinion 
on a new villager. I read the note saying balloons won't break from a mosquito bite. Seriously, we... <laughs> well, I'll let you think of the villager when he comes in. Why was Goose the only one that actually had said something about the villagers? I could talk to other people about our new villager. And it wouldn't be that big of a deal compared to like with Goose. Goose is all like, ah, oh, your competition! Oh, the rest are over. Pat oh, Patty, there you are. Oh my gosh, it's Blake! What's the latest? Uh, Patty, you wanna to talk to me about the villager we might have? I wonder if the I bet they enjoyed it. Actually, the Flash enjoyed it. Uh, you don't seem to care either. Why is it that, like, people, like, don't care about a new villager? They're just like, oh my gosh, I, I water the flowers, did you read this new book, etc. Oh, and there's Celia I'm wondering about her parents. Oh, this is my lucky two. Sorry, guys. And seasons. Goose is the only one that cares about the new villager, apparently. Goose is the only one that really cares about the new villager, apparently. Now, before I end the video, I do want to see if there is, um, the secret boat in the back, if you know what I mean. Red's boat. I want to see if that's, uh, there in the back. Ah, oh, come on, no purple roses? I mean, not purple roses, uh, purple, uh, tulips? None of those? Seriously? Another pink, um, lily. I don't see the boat anywhere. I'm not in the right area. Is the boat here? Nope. Alright, no boat. Um, but we'll check to see if any of my other flowers made like hybrids or whatnot. Especially purple pansies. I've been looking I've been looking for purple pansies. And apparently, uh, I think these are iron flowers, so they should spawn them. There's a 25% chance, but they have not done so yet, and that kinda concerns me. Well, I guess I'll flower a few to see if uh, any show up at some point tomorrow or not. They spawn blue, but Supposedly, uh, blues from other islands were actually supposed to have a purple, and that's why I have these laid out like this. And I remember getting these from a completely different island, so I'm not going crazy, for sure. <laughs> uh, I really hope that happens. Um, at least I know where the fossil digging spots are now, so I'll be sure to dig those up at some point. Anyways, uh, with that being said, I guess that is it for this episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, next time we meet up, it will be Patty's birthday, and by then, um, hopefully, Leonardo should be fully moved in, I'll give you guys, if his house is available, um, this, uh, to give you guys the tour of that. If not, I'll post it on Twitter as soon as he moves in, so don't worry about that. Uh, anyways, with that being said, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and do all that jazz, ring the bell so that you know if I want to go live next, with the next episode of, or next video, of anything, really, that I do. Uh, with that being said, though, I'm disappointed there's no hybrid reds. I wanted to get to work on trying to possibly get a blue rose. Ah, with that being said, though, my name is Blake, also known as the Nerd. I'll talk to Octavian if he's around. He is. No, he's not. Because I wanted to get more opinions on Leonardo for people. And I will see you guys in the next episode with a crazy new jockey villager and a cow celebrating a lovely birthday. Do remember to take care, folks. I really hope there's like a goatee thing in my town soon.